Hey guys, this is Night Elite. Uh, today I am showing you a circuit I've built, which is a logic analyzer. So, you can see here, it's displaying the data on our input circuits. The top one is just a circuit counting from 0 to 7 iron, and the bottom one is a circuit counting from 0 to 500 copper. Um, the top display is linear, the bottom display is logarithm, logarithmic with log 4, which is why you don't see it incrementing as fast. Um, and now check this out. You can stop it. All the values are frozen. You can zoom in. You can check these memories to see the exact values stored in each one. Same here for the other signal. Click that again. Unpaused. Similarly, we've got a trigger condition set up. This combinator right here sets up what the trigger condition is. Currently it's set up for copper equals 250. And if we turn on the trigger circuit, as soon as copper equals 250, this is going to pause everything. And we can, this red light marks the location of the trigger. So if we look up, that memory contains number 250. So you can tile these lanes to make arbitrarily many of them and debug several signals at once and get waveforms for all of them over time. Uh, I've got log 4, linear, and log 10 versions of this, so they're easy to change because all you have to change is these combinators on the end. You don't actually have to go change all the lights. With this circuit, if you want to use it to debug your own designs, you tie in your own inputs where this green uh, green wire comes in on the large power poles. So right now I've got these little example circuits here that are just doing counting, but you would tie in whatever input from your factory or something that you want to graph, shove it in there, and similarly the input into whatever the decider circuit is. This condition can be arbitrarily complicated. You can add a whole bunch more stuff onto the end of this if you want, and uh, make it quite complex, or you can make it as simple as this copper equals 250 that I'm using here. You also need to change these uh, combinators to match what material you want or what signal you want to be graphed on that uh, particular display. The last part to talk about here is that this combinator, in addition to turning on and off to pause things, also uh, adjusts where the trigger point is. So if you want the trigger to save 50 ticks after the trigger, you change this to 50. If you want it to store 100 ticks after the trigger, you change it to 100, etc. So if you see here, we can try that and get it to trigger here. And as soon as that gets up to 250 again, it will trigger. So we've got a lock, and we can see that this point where it equals 250 corresponds exactly to where that light is. So this lets you set the condition and s adjust how much information is stored before your trigger happened versus how much is stored after it happened. Anyway, that's it. Hopefully this will be useful for somebody for debugging some circuits. So thanks for watching.